All right, another league race. We are at Canada this week, and I'm just going to jump right into it. We're doing the short qualifying these days. So I go out for three or four runs, depending on the situation, and get the best time I can. Uh, as with some of the recent races, I'm only going to show you my best qualifying lap, which you will already see I've missed uh, I've missed at least one optimal uh, turn there. So this is not perfect by any means. I'm actually below my delta now, and it comes back up. It ends up being my best lap, but this is absolutely not the best lap I could have put on on the paper. Um, I actually had a lap that was about uh, seven tenths up on on what this one ended up being um, about two or three turns ago. So it, it was absolutely there for me. Um, I don't know where I would have ended up probably probably five or six spots higher than I did. Um, but as it stands I've got this lap, and I get this pretty good exit here, so this was nice. Uh, that was the first time I really managed to do well on that last chicane. So, ended up uh, one ten six, which I don't love, but again, it could have been a lot worse. I mean, I honestly think I could have been around one ten, if not under one ten, which would have put me like six or seven. So, it's a little bit disappointing, but. Of course, that doesn't impact my race. I'm just going to go out here and drive and do the best that I can. As with every league race and every non-league race as well, I'm just trying to keep it clean through the beginning, trying to stay smart. Uh, as they say, you can't win a race in turn one, but you can lose it. You see Hal make an aggressive move past me. He knows he's got places to be. He got bumped by somebody there. Was that my fault? Hard to say. Man, this is Canada is a track where you really just got to be careful to keep it safe at the beginning because it's, you know, it's very twisty and turny and uh, things can go very poorly. So I'm doing my best here, trying to keep it cool. Uh, you see Alex go off there. So I'm at P13, which is, I think, where I started, right? And uh, we're just trying to fight our way up, honestly. And stay safe. Just war of attrition. That's what it is. Thought we were going to lose somebody there. Didn't do it. So I'm still P13. You see that I'm on the softs. How's on the mediums? I did think about starting with the mediums, but ended up not doing it. Skyland McKay absolutely sends it there into the chicane. Uh, I thought that was a little reckless, but of course, pro driver like myself, I was able to, I was able to stay clean there, and not get hit. Um, and, um. That was that could have been very bad. I lost a little bit of time there, which is unfortunate, and not setting myself up very well. But I just I don't do very well in traffic. That's something that I've that I've learned. Call it dirty air, if you will. But I struggle quite a bit following closely. Uh, so I I think for me I do better when I when I manage to to maybe keep it within a second for DRS but not like this kind of distance I feel a lot better following I don't feel as good when I'm within 0.2 seconds of a guy or something so something I got to work on and I think I've been doing the career mode races and doing a lot of AI races in the career mode obviously and that <clears throat> I think that that has been very helpful for me in terms of um, in terms of being able to in terms of being able to follow closely because if you've raced AI a lot you know that those guys just they all follow each other by about 0.1 <laughs> seconds at all times so it's really a test of of following closely if you're doing that uh I also I gotta work on ERS management I find myself at the end of races um did that what was that seems like a crazy move across the track I didn't really see it you see Cruz here, it looks like he's disconnected or something. I don't know the specifics of that. Uh, no, apparently he's back in front of me again now. No, I think he's in the pits. All right, I don't know exactly what happened, honestly, there, but that was kind of weird. Skyland, I thought I had an opportunity to pass him right there. Just didn't get as good of an exit as he did, even though he kind of went wide into it. So that's unfortunate. But I am keeping it pretty close with him, uh, which I'm happy with. I built a little bit of a lead here on Reckless behind me and Mud Duck behind him. Uh, staying within range of Skyland McKay, but the thing is, if if I don't get past Skyland very quickly, I'm going to lose Hal. <laughs> and I was hoping to sort of profit off of Hal's speed and maybe stay within DRS range of him while he's got the mediums and I've got the softs. I think that would have been ideal for me, uh, but it's obviously irrelevant if I can't even get past Skyland McKay. So 
just doing my best here, but um, I think the plan was to pit on lap seven maybe here or initially. So it's 18 laps. I was going to do, I think, go to lap seven on the softs, do the last 11 and some change on the mediums. You see people starting to pit now, so we're getting there. I finally passed Skyland. Got a pretty nice... Got a pretty nice run into that corner. He did not, so I benefited. You see Bo two places behind me on the hards with the three-second penalty. Uh, and that is absolutely going to be a refrain throughout the penalties. This is When you're racing on strict track limits, this is a really tough track for that. So uh, if, if you've raced on Canada with strict track limits, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It can just be absolutely brutal. And you see me get a couple here. I think I left. I think I ended up with two. Uh, so you see, you'll see those, I believe, in the video. At least one of them I know is in the video. I'm not sure about the other one, but uh, it's a really easy track to get track limit warnings on, and then penalties as a result of that. So I'm Skyland is still within a second behind me. You see me accept Jeff's suggestion of pitting on lap eight, uh, but Skyland's pretty close behind me. I am out of DRS range of Hal, and I think I hit the ERS here, maybe. No, I don't. Uh, I, I w didn't have much hope of getting within range of Hal at this point. He's my teammate. He's a lot faster than I am. He's on the mediums. I'm on the softs. And he's like, <laughs> not, I can't even get within range of him. Also, I, I think I realized late in the race that I was really mistreating the track limits here. Like I could have, I could have taken a lot more liberty with track limits, but I didn't. So, okay, I, I do some cuts here. I'm two seconds behind Hal. Um, and then I cut to lap six here. As, so this is the range where people start pitting a lot. And you see me flying up through the ranks. Um, a couple people pitted here. So, yeah, I think I end up P3 right here. So it's Hal, Rush, Puppy, Jeff. And that was a really nice, really nice run of good fortune there uh, to get myself on the podium. Except I haven't pitted yet, so it's not real. You see Hal take the lead here as Rush Puppy pits. So going into lap eight, it is Hal and Jeff in P1 and P2, the two Williams. It's not going to stick like that. Spoiler alert. Uh, that changes. So you see me going into the pits here, and I completely misjudge the distance in and get the five-second penalty for speeding in the pit lane, which is embarrassing. It is enraging. It, it's the kind of thing that just incredibly annoys me. Um, and then I get the warning for crossing the pit line. Thanks for not penalizing that. Uh, so, I, I don't know. It's just so annoying to to get the speeding in the pit lane penalty. And I was just... I, I was looking around and I see that a bunch of other people have penalties. So, I'm really hoping that that doesn't end up coming back to bite me. I just I'm doing the math here, realizing I need to stay at least two seconds in front of in front of Bode, um, so that uh, so that I can so that I do not lose a place because of my five second penalty to his three second penalty. So I've really put myself in the hole here. I do think though that I can stay two seconds ahead of Bode. So at this point, I'm thinking my my logic has to be. I've got at least P10. I've at least got a points finish here in the bag. And I, I just need to stay smart, drive clean, and minimize damage, basically. Um, you know, after my, after my penalty. So the good news, though, is that I'm confident that other people will get penalties as well with track limits. You see Skyland get another three seconds, I think. And I noticed around this point that incident in front of me, the delta starts coming down a little bit. I don't know what the situation was, but I have to wonder if he had some sort of damage. Because it was at 5 seconds at the beginning of this lap. We're at 3.7 seconds now. And he's a faster racer than I am. So it, there's, kind of, there's kind of no... And in the normal course, you don't really think that there's a reason that I would be gaining this much time on him. He's down to 2.8 seconds now. So... At this point, I'm starting to think that maybe something's going on here. I was expecting him maybe to pit here. You see how going to the pits. So losing that, the P1 to take his net position post-pitting. And I was curious here to see if Incident was going to pit. 
What with him losing almost three seconds on this lap to me, I figured he must have some damage or something. It's possible that he just made some errors, but he does not go into the pits, so he's down to 2.3 seconds now. And at this point, I'm completely determined. I'm going to chase this guy down. And if he's losing this much time, I'm thinking even with my five-second penalty, I should be able to get out in front of him and and get that P9. You see me there with the track limit penalty. I should be, at least be able to get that P9. I'm, that's my thinking. So I'm going to give it a go, of course. It's down to a second now. You see how come out of the pits in front of Incident on the softs. So he comes out into P8. And I'm confident that Hal on the softs is just going to be absolutely rapid. Uh, he is a very fast driver. And most people, I think, are on mediums in front of us. Maybe not everyone, but I'm pretty sure most of the people went soft medium. So uh, I think Hal absolutely has a nice little shot here to just to just absolutely move up, move up the board. And you see that happen. So he's now, I think he's in P7 in front of boy for jesus and i'm gaining rapid time on incident got that drs from him there and he does go into the pits so i wonder what was happening there i wonder if maybe he had not pitted yet is that possible uh he he did seem kind of low he seemed kind of low in the in the classification to have not pitted so i don't know maybe i'll ask him what happened there because that was an interesting situation uh but you see me go to p8 here lap 13 and Boy for Jesus then goes off the track, so I'm in a P7. Uh, that is lap 13. I cut out some driving here because I don't think I saw another car for the rest of the race. Um, I, it was just driving. Ghost and Howe kind of moved around in front of me. Bo never got within two seconds. Everybody in my five, five driver span had penalties. But I somehow managed to survive my pit lane speeding penalty uh, to take the P7. So I'm happy with that. It's a, it's a good damage limitation, but uh, we'll be back.